Today we're going to take a look at how you can quickly create an OAuth client of type uh, client credentials to access your SOTA collections um, uh, via ORDS or Oracle REST Data Services. Uh, to start with, there's a, there's a couple of views we want to look at, but the, the main one we're going to look at today is the uh, user ORDS uh, clients view. Uh, this is where this particular token, uh, the client uh, ID and the client secret will exist. And you can see that currently uh, we don't have any tokens in there. So to create it, uh, I've, we've got a few lines of PL SQL here. Um, you can see that uh, we're going to use the OAuth create client uh, procedure. Uh, our client grant type is going to be client credentials. This is really used for machine to machine, but for development, it just kind of makes it easier. Uh, it's a, kind of a quick way to, to get a token when you're, you're building. Um, and we're going to grant two particular roles uh, to our user. Uh, the owner is going to be C. Baber, and then this particular token is going to be for you know, uh, accessing the SOTA APIs. To do that, he'll need both the SQL developer uh, grant and the SOTA developer grant. So we'll go ahead and run this. All right, now I'll clear this out. Uh, now, once this is run, if we go back and we actually query that same table, this time we're going to look for the ID, the, you know, the name, uh, player dev. You can see our token was created, and we see both our client ID and our client secret. Now, don't worry, I'm going to blow this away. So. Uh, it will be gone at the end of this demo, but you can see how you, how you want to do it. Uh, next, we're going to want to grab um, our bearish token, our OF token, um, using this particular REST call. So I'm just I'm putting it here, not because it'll execute in SQL uh, Workshop, but just because it makes it easier. So I'm going to grab that. Now we're going to go out to, to uh, Postman. All right. And the, the fastest way I found to do this is simply click Import up here, paste in. Uh, this particular uh, REST call that you just, just saw, and the, the have, uh, GitHub will have the syntax there. You can see what it does with the authorization. You can see what it does with the client credential um, you know, in, in the body itself. We can go ahead and send this. Uh, this is going to re return our access token here, and it's of type uh, bearer. So we'll copy the access token itself. And now if we go back to uh, the collection in, we made earlier, this is our other video we did should have your basic authentication. It's pretty simple to um, just simply set it to bear token, drop this in, hit save. Now if we go out to our Git player collection and we'll go ahead and hit send, we can see that it returned you know uh, the player data for this simple example. Now, obviously, we want to, at some point in time, probably revoke these tokens. So let's go ahead. Uh, here's a little PL SQL here to revoke both the roles um, and uh, delete the, the client. So we'll go ahead and run that. And now if I go back out to Postman and execute with that same token, we can see we're no longer authorized. Uh, so really quick, if you're building, uh, you want to access your SOTA collections, your JSON documents, uh, you want to use Postman, uh, you know, to as you play around with it, this is a quick way to uh, set up uh, OAuth and, and go at it.